What's up guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a TPA system. Now, what I mean by this is, let's say I want to teleport to a friend. So, I have a friend, A1 over there, and let's say I wanted to teleport him to him, or him to me, whatever. It works in both ways. So, obviously right now, yes, I have the TP command, but let's say you're playing on like a Factions Realm, or Skyblock Realm, and, I mean, if you own it, or uh, maybe you're an admin on whatever, this is something you could add to it to make it so I could TP to him as far away as I want. Like, he can be a million blocks away, and I could still TP to him. So, I'm going to be showing you how to make that in today's video. So, first thing I want to say is, it's going to use an item. So, mine is just named TPA request 1. His is named TPA accept 1. And, yeah. So, I'm going to just throw mine down, and then if he throws his down, You'll see that it does a little countdown down there. It tells me who I'm teleporting to, which is always nice. And then I teleport to him. Now, if we do it a second time, I want to actually show you something. So, again, we both throw it down. And let's say, you know what? No, I don't want to teleport to him. I pick it up, it cancels right then and there. And, yeah. So, that's how it actually looks when you're using it. And I'll show you how to make it. So, I'm going to just clear my inventory. And, yeah. All right. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you are going to want to take uh, a repeating command block and then it should be repeating unconditional and always active and it should just be test for at E and then name equals and then whatever you want your TPA item to be. So to keep it simple I'm just going to do TPA request and then I'm going to just do two because I already did one. So if you have multiple lines of this let's say. There could be multiple people using it at once, so if I'm TPing to A1 and someone else is TPing to their friend, that could be happening at once, as long as we're using different lines. So, now that I have this command here, that's good for the first command block, and then I'm going to just copy that command block. If you can't do that, that's fine, just type uh, this command in, we're going to change request to accept, just like that, there we go. And then after that, we are going to take two comparators uh, coming out of the command blocks, going into blocks like that, and then I'm going to just grab a torch from over here, but we're going to have redstone torches just like that. Alright, and then after that, we are going to now get into this section of it. So, you're going to need a scoreboard for this, so I'm just going to do scoreboard objectives add, and then TPA2, dummy. If you're doing TPA3, for instance, I'll just add a new scoreboard, it's a lot simpler that way, but uh, yeah. So, we're going to look in here, this is our request, alright, so then we're going to put a command block here, and then we're going to execute our request item. So, execute at E, name equals TPA, oh, okay, TPA request 2, and then we're going to do, tilde, 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 scoreboard players set at P, and then TPA 2, and then let's just set them to 1. And then, command is going to be similar, so again, I'm just going to copy it. If you can't, that is fine. But I'm going to change that to a 2, and then change the request to an accept. So make sure these are with the right ones. So again, the accept should be here, if the accept is the one on the left. So, yep, and then this is a command for the accept again. And then, the request, I have mine on the right. It doesn't matter which order, but just make sure these correspond. So since mine is on the right, I'm going to have this command here on the right. And yeah, it should look like this. Alright, so now that that's done, I'm going to take uh, redstone dust like that, going into a block with a torch coming out of it. Now from here, I'm going to just put a impulse command down, and this is where we're going to do all the display, so like having it show on your action bar who you're teleporting to and in how long. So it is simply going to be title at P, and then scores equals, and then TPA2, equals 1, so this is going to be for a request, and we're going to put action bar, and this is where we're going to make it, like, say what we want. So, if you have the TPA request, you're going to be teleporting to the person who has the accept, so I'm just going to say, you will teleport to, and then I'm going to put the person's name who has the accept, so I'm going to do at P, scores equals, and then TPA2 equals 2. And then in, and I'll just do a 5 to show 5 seconds. So now what this will say is, if I have the request, it'll say, you will teleport to, and then let's say, A1 in 5 seconds, basically. And then we are going to copy this command block, and then make it a chain, just after, and always active. 
And then this is actually going to be for if you have the except. So I'm going to change my 1 here to a 2. And this should just say uh, at p scores equals and then tpa2 equals 2. And then close that off. We'll teleport to you in and then whatever our countdown is going to be. So what this should say now is let's say it's showing me this and I have the accept. It'll say a1 will teleport to you in 5. Oh, I should probably spell that right. But yeah, it doesn't matter how you set this up. It is up to you. This doesn't really matter how it says it, but whatever. The score should correspond and it should help. And actually, this TPA 2 equals 2 should be a 1. Okay, so this should be this command here. And now, after that, it's actually going to be pretty simple. So, all we're going to do, grab our first command block. So, uh, again, this should be the command inside. And now, if we go over here to our tick delay, we are going to actually set that to 20. So, this is going to be, say, 5, and then 4 seconds. And now, 3, 2, 1, and then 0. So... It should be the first time, and then a second time, third time, fourth, fifth, and sixth. So this command block should be placed down six times. And now we are going to simply edit the time. So that should be a four. And then this one, I'm going to just edit this to be a three. And then following that pattern, make this a two. Uh, there we go. And then this one can be a one. Uh, again, you can format the text inside here however you want, but that is up to you. And since this one is basically zero, I'm going to just put three dots after. And yeah, so now we are going to come to this command block here, copy this, and then just place it after each time of here. So again, it should be placed down six times as well, just like the other ones. So the first time is going to be here, second here, and I'm actually going to go in here, change that five to a four, and then go to the next command block of it go in here change that five to a three following that again make that into a two and then right over here we're going to make this into a one and finally we're going to make this uh just to be three dots just like that all right now we are almost done now we actually need the command to teleport the player so keeping in mind that our Square of 1 is a request, and the square of 2 is the accept, and the request is going to teleport to accept, we're going to teleport 1 to 2. I know that might sound confusing, but just the command here is going to be the same. So, scores equals, and then TPA2 equals uh, 1, I believe, yeah. And then to at P, and then scores equals, if I can spell, scores equals TPA2 equals 2. All right. So we're getting really close now. We are going to add two commands to the end of this, and we should be done. So it's going to just be kill at E, and then name equals, and then we're going to simply do our TPA request. So request uh, two, there we go. Close it off, and then next command is going to be similar. We're just going to kill the accept, uh, so I'm going to copy that. Uh, again, if you can't, that's fine. Just type this command in, and yeah. So we're almost done. I actually realized over here that we forgot uh, two commands up here, just like here. So all I'm going to do now is just simply type this command here. Scoreboard players reset at A, and then scores equals uh, TPA2 equals 1, and then TPA2. And then again, our command is going to be very similar over here. Whereas we're just going to change that one to a two. So this system should actually be all set up now. So if I were to uh, rename uh, some items. So I'll just do glowstone dust because why not, obviously. Um, and then I throw down anvil here. And then I rename this to tpa request two. And then I need my accept. So I put that here. And then tpa uh, accept two. So, if I now throw my accepts to uh, A1, so he can use those, there we go. And now, if I throw down a request and he throws down an accept, it says I'll teleport to him. The countdown's working, and then I can fly as far as I want, there we go, it teleported. And now, if I throw this down here, he throws his down, 
I can cancel it. And let's say actually we wanted to switch, so I will throw him my request, and he throws me the accepts. So, there we go, and then he will throw me the accepts. Yep, just like that, okay. Uh, this is what it looks like on the accept side. So, it says he'll teleport to me, and then time him, and then wherever I go, he will teleport to me. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the commands here. Again, these are all pretty much the same. Whereas all I change is here you can see it says TPA1 and then over here it is TPA2 and the names of the items are different whereas that's 2 and if I come over here this is 1. So yeah, the, it should be pretty simple to add on to this. If you want to change the text of what it says, by all means, go for it. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like. If you really liked it, make sure to subscribe. And if you have any ideas that you want to see me do, uh, make sure to leave a comment down below. Or you could join my Discord, which the link for that will be in the description. But yeah, that's going to be it for me today, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.